Hey, last Thursday, guys, I forgot to mention that we hit 100 videos on this YouTube channel and I didn't even acknowledge it last Thursday. So I wanted to take a minute before we kick off with our What Sold episode today by just saying thank you. If it wasn't for your likes and comments and subscribes and watch time and all the rest of it here on this channel, I wouldn't be making videos. You really do motivate me to keep going and keep making content. So I thought I'd just quickly acknowledge that and say thank you so much for the support. Um, 100 videos down and here's to 100 more. I've got a feeling about today's episode, guys. It's going to be a fun one. I've got some really cool items to take through, a couple of stories behind each of the items that sold. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well. This is the Sunday show where I take you through nine of my very best sold sales items on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. If you're here for the first time, I put out three new videos right here on this YouTube channel every single week. So hit the subscribe button if you're into that kind of thing, but give the video a like as well. It's a really great way to support the channel. We're going to dive straight into it. The first item that I've got for you is a set of Harry Potter books that I picked up in the thrift for just a couple of bucks. Let's do it. Now, for any seasoned reseller vet out there, you would know that these Harry Potter books go on to sell really well. But if you're a brand new reseller, if you want to get into reselling, look out for this book series. It's obviously a ripper, well known, and uh, it went on to sell well on eBay for me. Look, I only found three in the thrift, and I bought them for $3, which is quite rare, to be honest. You usually find these for about 4 to $5 each. They always sort of bump up the price uh, for the Harry Potter series. But I was fortunate to only find them for a dollar each. So I've ended up selling them on eBay for $44.97. Postage was $10. $15. I bubble wrapped them up, put them into a medium satchel, sent it away for $10.15. I've got an Australia Post My Business discount, so that brought it down a little bit from the $12 odd dollar cost. Take out the fees of $5.84. I've profited basically $26 selling three books. Um, an awesome result, and it wasn't even a complete series. So this one sold in 49 days. Uh, look, if you are reselling full time, as I mentioned, you're probably already buying these books on a weekly basis. But if you're not, if you're brand new and you want to get into selling books online, I can tell you right now that a great place to start is the Harry Potter series. Now I found this shoe guys in the thrift. Uh, oh look it was a trip to the thrift. It was about two and a half weeks ago now. If you've watched the episode you would remember this shoe. It was the Saliwas that I picked up. Now these are hiking shoes. To be honest the Saliwa brand I'd never heard of before but the shoes were Gore-Tex which in snowboarding terms at least to my experience means that it is really high quality and a high grade of material. Um, so look I knew that I had a really good pair of shoes here but I didn't know too much about the brand. It was talking to me a little bit on eBay. My cause was only starting at $7, so I wasn't too disappointed there. Uh, and I have sold these for $65. I took a best offer though. I think I had these listed up at 80 bucks because they were in such good condition. And the size I think was a US 10 from memory. Um, the postage, again, it was a medium satchel. I put it in for $10.15 with the My Business discount. The fees were $8.45. Uh, the profit guys, $39.40 in the space of just 18 days. And it's not for the first time. When I sell hiking boots, they seem to sell in a really quick space of time if you can get the good brands. Um, this is a good brand, Saliwa. Let me know in the comments, have you sold Saliwa? And if you have, did you sell it for over $65? Because I reckon I could have got a few more. Here was a really cool furniture flip, guys. I love my furniture. Let's put it in. It was this one here. It was the hall table. Now, this is the three drawer, really stylish hall table. Have a look at my Tuesday video that I put out, which is just my daily vlog that I do. And in that video, I spoke around the story behind how I purchased this one. I actually undercut somebody that was going to come around at a later date to pick the item up. And I've swooped in and I've paid a little bit more to get my hands on it on Facebook Marketplace. So they had it listed for 30. I told the buyer or the seller that I would pay 50. And she said, sure, come around and grab it. So in the end, I've done that. I haven't had to do a thing to it. And that's the way I buy my furniture. I don't manipulate it in any way. I literally just collect it and then I relist it back onto Facebook Marketplace and it works every single time. This one was no different. $180 sale. I've made $130 profit and it sold within just a three-day turnaround. I will just quickly say, I get a lot of questions. Do people message you back as opposed to the previous seller messaging me saying, hey, you're reselling my item? The answer is no. I've never had that because people aren't searching for the item that they've just sold. So I'll always continue to do it. It's a relist back on a marketplace, a resell for over $100 profit every single time. Knew it the minute that I saw them guys in the thrift. These were the Guitar Hero guitars that I've picked up on Thursday's trip to the thrift episode. Now I've paid just $20 for these, um, so $10 each, and I've gone on to sell them on eBay within the space of just two 
two days for $150. The postage worked out to $15.70. The fees worked out to $19.50. I've sold both of them to the same buyer. So I listed them individually, but the buyer has gone through my store and bought both of them, um, which was awesome for me because I only have to worry about one shipping cost. So my profit for the two of them at the end of the day worked out to $94.80 on a two-day turnaround. And I think that's awesome. Buying an item for 20 bucks total, selling it for $150. That is what thrifting is all about. And these are an absolute bolo item they sell in a fast space of time for some decent money and if you can find them at a low cost around the 10 to 15 dollar price point i would always pick them up make sure that they work or even just list them as untested and hopefully you'll get around that 75 dollar price so to sell two to the same buyer and make a 94 dollar profit i'm very very happy on that one now one piece of advice that i always have for those that are just trying to start out and, and start to sell a few things on ebay and facebook marketplace is to have a look around your own home look for items that you no longer need or want and list them onto Facebook Marketplace and try and make a few dollars. I've got an item that I've found around the house uh, that's really just sat around for the last 49 days on eBay, but it has finally sold for full price and I'm really happy about this one. It was the uh, Risk board game and this was the Game of Thrones edition. We never played it. It was in light new condition, just tucked in the cupboard, no longer being used and uh, it's gone on to sell for $84.97 on eBay. So the sales cycle was a little over a month. We're talking about five or six weeks with this one, but it's sold for full price of $84.97 and uh, the postage worked out to $10.15. So this board game, because it was a free item and it was just lying around the house, the ultimate profit on this is $63.82. So just crazy that you can make 63 bucks by just opening up some cupboards around your house and seeing what you have lying around. So go and do that yourself. Let me know what you find. Let me know what you go on to sell it for in the comments. I would love to hear it. Now guys, I'm an AFL man. I'm not rugby league by any means. I know that I'm Queensland based, but I've never been a fan of rugby league to be honest. And I'm, I apologize for all of you out there that do love the game. But um, as an AFL man, I still look for rugby league gear in the thrift. And I've been able to find this Melbourne Storm windbreaker jacket that I just knew would go on to sell really well. I have paid $12 for it, but I thought it was worth the investment because it was in light new condition. It was a good size as well. I think it was a large or an extra large. Uh, and I've sold it for $59.97. The Melbourne Storm are playing some very good football in the NRL over the last couple of years. So I knew that this one would be very, very popular. Now, 24 day turnaround on this one, I've profited $32.61. I'm really excited, I actually, I will quickly say for the couple of months ahead because I'll be kind of going into the winter months for the very first time from a reselling perspective. And I just think that winter gear will go on to sell more than summer gear. Um, so this was a kind of an example of that, being able to sell a windbreaker for 60 bucks and make a $32 profit. So um, look out for your sporting gear, any sort of sporting team, any jersey or merchandise of a sporting team I like to pick up because I tend to be able to go on to sell it on Facebook Marketplace or eBay. So um, Melbourne Storm uh, Windbreaker, it was a good one to get. Next item up, guys, is this Race Storm PlayStation 1 game that I bought in a bundled purchase on Facebook Marketplace a little while ago now, sales cycle of 109 days here. But I bought the console, I bought about 10 games with the console, and then I sat down and I comped on eBay every single one of those 10 games. This one was in there and it was comping at around about $90 on eBay. So while I bought the console plus the games for 50 bucks on Marketplace, this one individual game was worth $90 on eBay. So what I did is I found two or three out of that bundle pack that was worth a little bit, put it to the side for individual listings, and then I got the remaining six or seven games and I sold it with the console back for $100. So there was always gonna be maximized profit doing it that way. This one sold on eBay for $75, took a best offer. Postage, $4.50, fee, $9.75. I've profited $59.75. And I bought the original console bundle for just 50 bucks. And this one individual game in that package has cost has um, profited me $59.75. So that's the way I tackle my video games on Marketplace, guys. It's a great niche category to get into. There's a lot of money to be made in there. And if you can pluck out games like this, you'll go on to sell for quite a few. Now, guys, I wanted to put this one into the video, not because the numbers are impressive, but just the fact that they do go on to sell. It was this Star Wars 45 centimeter fin uh, character action figure. Now, this was a good one because it was uh, 45 centimeters high. He was quite a relatively tall action figure. Not like the size of these guys. He was uh, a little bit higher. Anyway, he's gone on to sell for $30 on face on uh, eBay. So the postage of $7.56 to get him out the door, plus the fees of $3.90. Look, my profit here is only $12.54 because I bought him for six bucks in the, uh, in the op shop. Now, I thought that he was gonna sell for maybe $35 to $40. 
Um, that would have got me upwards of a $20 profit on this guy. But had I bought him for just a dollar, which is the case for this sort of a toy, you can generally find these for a very low price. I still think because it's sold for $30 on eBay, it's a really good item to kind of look out for. You wouldn't think that these little toy action figures could sell for such a high amount. At least I didn't anyway. But I just thought I'd have a crack at this one. I paid up for him at $6. And he has still come away with a, a pretty good profit of $12.50. So look out for your action figures. Don't pass them up when you're in the op shop because a $30 sale on eBay for just one of them, I thought was pretty crazy. All right, guys, my holy grail to win the episode. This was an absolute beauty. I actually bought it in my Tuesday vlog. So go and check out that video to watch the purchase process. But I've bought this uh, entertainment unit, chocolate brown, had a nice square door on it. Um, I really like this one and I knew that it would go on to sell well. $50 purchase and it has sold for $220. Zero fees on Facebook Marketplace and I've profited $170 with a sales cycle of just three days. And if you've, if you've been watching this channel, for the last eight months, you'll know that I always sell these entertainment units and I always generally make between $100 and $150 worth of profit. This guy was just in excellent condition and he was a very nice piece. And I listed him for $250 and I took an offer of $220 and I'm really not disappointed by that because the $170 worth of profit is incredibly high for what I do in the furniture space. But um, I continue to put these into the video because I just want to continue to harp on the point that there is a lot of money to be made in furniture. And hopefully this can be the video that gets you into it. So they were my nine best sold sales items of the week, guys. Hopefully you got some value out of those. Let's dive into my weekly sales numbers just to let you know how I've gone along this week. And like I said before, it's been a pretty good week and I've had a couple of good sales. So I'll pull up the table. I'll give you a look at the overall numbers. I've been able to sell 46 items this week and the cost of goods was $454, but I've been able to sell a total of $1,876.68. What I will say with that figure, which I never really touch on when I look at this graph, it's it's 1,876 plus postage on top. So that figure doesn't include postage. That's a pre-postage figure. So postage would be a well over a $2,000 week. Um, the profit is $1,422 when you take away the cost of goods. So profit margin of 76%, a lot of thrifted goods and uh, furniture this week has resulted in those numbers. So look guys, I'm really happy with this week. If I can be averaging around $2,000 every single week in sales, that's gonna get me really close to my $100,000 a year uh, salary goal. That, not salary, but just total sales goal. I really wanna do 100K in sales. So um, doing really well uh, this week, really just thanks to consistent listing yet again. It's the underlying principle that is just continually letting me average six to seven sales a day. And I'm averaging around the 15 listings every single day. So that won't stop. And I don't really have a further update in that regard as to the process and what I'm doing. It's just consistency. And I know that I say that word quite a bit and you're probably bored of hearing it. Um, but it just stands to be true. The more consistent you are on a daily basis, doing the little things right, not saying no to things, just getting it done the sales just keep popping up. And I've got a few more listings to do this afternoon and randomly I get a sale pop up the minute I start listing. Let me know if you guys get that. I think that's a really weird thing with the algorithm that if I do four to five listings, suddenly a sale appears. So it kind of motivates me to keep listing and, and do it sporadically throughout the day as well. Um, don't know if it's just me. Let me know in the comments if you have the same sort of thing happen to you. But um, yeah, look, great week. I, I won't continue to harp on. We'll wrap up the episode there. I, I do appreciate you tuning in. Like I said, we're 101 videos into this channel now and I really do appreciate all of your support of, of tuning in and watching. Um, so thank you very much for that. And hopefully you can stick around for another 100 more because I'm having a lot of fun making these videos. Thanks very much, guys. We'll see you on Tuesday. Day. Appreciate you tuning in on this one.